you guys have been following the TID Radio TDH8, you know they've had some production issues and they've been working on it, trying to get it better. I think in this version, they finally got everything corrected. Today, we're going to check this out, and I'm going to let you know where you can pick it up for a 20% discount when we come back. All right, folks, welcome back. So I definitely wanted to bring this to you because I have tried out, I think, three previous versions of the uh, TDH-8, and all of them had little issues here and there, and I think they finally got them all ironed out. This seems to be working very, very well. Now, the last one, when you transmitted, you got a buzz back on certain frequencies. I think that's been fixed up. Um, all in all, I think it's a great radio. I love the layout and the actual aesthetic of the radio, the way it uh, the way it looks, the way it works. You don't need a separate Bluetooth programmer with this. You notice that little Bluetooth icon. You can turn it on and off. But uh, see, turn it off or on or whatever. Either way, you can turn it off or on, and you can use that to program your radio using the OD Master app. And we'll get into the OD Master app in a second, but the best part about the new OD Master app you don't have to register just to program your radio. It was kind of a social media thing where you had to register and all that, and that was a hassle. I'm still registered from the previous versions, but you don't have to anymore. You can skip that and go right to programming the radio. So it's definitely a cool deal. Another nice feature on this radio is it allows you to upgrade the firmware on it anytime you want through the OD Master app. So when they say, hey, there's a new firmware, you get new features, and you don't have to go out and buy a new radio because all they do is just reprogram it. So it's kind of like an SDR sort of uh, with the firmware on the radio. It basically is configurable any way you want to do it. Now, they say this is a 10-watt dual-band ham radio. Uh, we're going to test it, but honestly, I got about 6 on uh, 14652. Still better than a regular HT, which is usually 4.5 or 5. But I don't think we've hit the 10 watt level yet. But all in all, I mean, that's more than enough. All right. Now, it will come with two rechargeable 2,500 milliamp hour batteries. That's larger than most of the existing 1,800 milliamp hour batteries. So that gives you continuous use for 24 hours or 120 hours standby. So if you're using this on and off, you can use it continuously for 24 hours. Or you get that 120 hours of just being turned on like it is here on standby. Definitely very, very cool. Okay, you have a high gain antenna here. This is an unbreakable soft flexible antenna. A little bit more roughness than a regular antenna. And it is for the correct frequencies. I checked the bottom of it does have dual watch okay no weather mode you can display syncs so you can sync this to another tdh8 all right it does have all of your ctcs and dcs cones scanning vox remote site alarm and so on so it's got a bunch of different features another neat, neat thing i like about the radio and i really wanted to like it when it first came out even though it had some issues is the feel this feels like a professional radio it's chunky it's heavy you know it doesn't feel like if you drop it it's going to blow up and explode in your hand it just feels like a nice radio lots of neat features on it you do have your uh, fm okay you also have your light on the top there okay and your alarm up top here so definitely very cool tons of features on it i'll walk you quickly through the menu you've got squelch Oh, let's go the wrong way. Squelch, step, high power, power save. I want off on this one. Box level is off. You do narrow or wide bandwidth. Uh, we are going to actually move that to wide. And there you go. So you can see how that works. Go all the way through it here. There's your power on message. Your LED, mic gain, your repeaters. I haven't. I just programmed it by there, so I haven't used any of the stuff to program it yet. I programmed it with the app. I'll show you the app in a second. But you can see all this stuff is fairly simple. It will seek your codes to your CTCS and DCS tones. Your memories, your direction for offsets for frequencies. You can see all the different things there. Now, to turn this on, I want to get to 7 because some people don't understand that. That D-weight, okay, that's on. In other words... When one side is transmitting, let's get out of the menu here. Let's exit out. Well, let's say my 440 side here is transmitting, I will hear it. But if I'm transmitting on two meters, of course, I won't. If they're both going, whichever one started first, well, you'll hear. But it is nice to have that so you can keep an eye on a second frequency. Um, I know when we've done events here in town, we've used two different frequencies. Maybe a local chatter frequency where we maybe want to talk to one another on the course or whatever. And then a 
main repeater frequency, like for Baker to Vegas. So that's very, very handy to have that too. Definitely a nice radio. Feels really good in your hand. What I'd like to do is give you a little power test on this and show you what it's putting out as far as power goes. Um, I didn't get 10 watts. Then again, I just tried it on the ham simplex frequency. We're going to try it both on 440 and 2 meters and see what we come up All with. All right. So I got my meter on here and I just accidentally keyed it and got uh, 6.2 watts. Let's try it again. And this 2 meter, 6.7. Those are respectable. It's definitely a bump up and that's on 14652. Let's try it on 440. All right. Now let's try this out. Now this one's showing 14.8 watts. That's pretty darn impressive. I'm going to try it on the simplex output. Four, four, seven, seven, zero, zero. I'm trying on my simplex output on my repeater. 13.9. So that's pretty darn impressive. So it is a higher wattage radio. You'll notice there's no whining, there's no noise, there's no buzzing. It seems to have gotten that all resolved. It is shielded better, I assume. Um, all in all, nice little radio. Definitely putting out some watts on uh, 440 there. Uh, let's try a different frequency. One, four, four, three, zero, zero. All right. I'm showing 6.5 again, 6.6 .6 on two meters. Let me ID here. W6. All right. Just didn't want to key up in there, not ID. So definitely uh, putting out more power than I thought it would. And that uh, 440 side was really impressive. So what I want to do with this really quickly is give you a little uh, little range test. I do my usual. I'm going to drive about an, a mile and a half out. All right. And uh, down to where our uh, little community radio station is. And I'm going to leave the radio sitting here for you guys to listen to what it sounds like. Because it's a very nice sounding radio, to be honest with you. Uh, we're going to leave the radio here for you guys to watch and see what it sounds like. I'm going to put it on the, the simplex frequency. And you can turn that voice off if you don't like it. I really haven't done it because I still need to program some stuff in here. So I haven't perfected what I want it, how I want it done. But I'm going to be taking my other radio with me. We're going to be going about a mile and a half down the road. Fairly flat from here to there. It's almost line of sight. I am going to be leaving my garage door up for reception purposes. And uh, we'll see what it sounds like. So let me get in my vehicle and uh, head on out. All right, I'm going to leave this focused on this radio. Get in my vehicle and drive. I will edit it so it seems like I'm right there. I will edit it so you don't have to wait for me to drive all the way there. And we'll see what it sounds like from that distance. This is W6UTC. I am testing a radio. Testing a uh, TIG radio. TDH8W6UTC. And I will be clear. All right. I am back. It sounded very good. I was a little loud. I was, I'm actually using this radio, and I was kind of right up on the microphone. But as you can tell, it's really loud. <laughs> so you'll definitely be able to be heard and uh, be able to hear back. I want to quickly, let's just see what it sounds like transmitting. Got that there. I'm going to back up a little bit so I don't overmodulate there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So as you can tell, W6UTC, I am clear. As you can tell, definitely a good little radio, using that little radio to test it out there. And you see what it sounds like. It sounds really, really good. Uh, on the air, it sounds good as well. Um, we've been playing around with this now for about a week, and I've tested it a couple times. I actually checked into one of the nets this week on this radio, and uh, no one said anything different. Sounded like I was on my mobile rig, because I'm pretty close to the repeater for that net. Anyway, folks, that is the TID Radio TDH8. I think they have ironed out all of their little weird bugs that they had. You know, when you're developing something that's kind of new and unique, you're going to have issues. You're going to have new radio issues, and... Through the use of a lot of people here on YouTube and a lot of help from YouTubers themselves, a lot of the problems were diagnosed and we were able to give them some corrective advice and they actually took it, which is really great for a company and I really do like the radio. Um, I love the layout of it. Their GMRS version I've actually been using as my full-time portable GMRS radio. So I definitely like the looks of the radio. I like the way it works and I love the programming. I did want to show you the app really quickly here. Um, this is your, let me get back to the beginning here. This is your OD Master app. I am not currently connected, but I will connect for you on video here. There's where it says kit. You're going to connect there. And it will show you it's connected. And then you'll just, I already programmed it with this, so I'm going to go to the programs. And you go through here on your frequencies. There's your receive, transmit, hop, uh, your tone, your encoding, your power, your offset, back and forth. Um, you can go through here and do all of the channels 
and there's your repeater it actually gives you a repeater list of your local area which I really like so I can add these import to my list here and add them to the radio which is kind of handy and these are actually updated very very well um, that's pretty much all our repeaters in there so that's really cool so I'm definitely liking the radio I do like the fact you don't have to log in anymore to uh, to mess around with uh, any of the other functions on it it's definitely a cool little thing you can see if I want to program it I'll bring it up a little closer here when I read it there's only two frequencies in here so you can see it says bluetooth program and that's it it's red and i've got my two frequencies back in there in the in the uh in the program itself so definitely a cool little app and an awesome little radio and now that we got the bugs worked out i feel secure in using it um there were a couple versions that i helped them test out and look at and i was like eh, i don't like this feature that doesn't work and they were really responsive and they put out a great radio so this is the tid radio tdh8 it is their newest version now the 20 percent off is an amazon code i'm going to give you a link to this amazon down below you will see the price which is 89.99 Below that price is one of those little click this to save 20% off. So there's a 20% off coupon on the site. So definitely go check that out. Remember, I, I don't control that. Um, it's Amazon. So if you're watching this video two weeks from now and they don't have the thing there anymore, that's just Amazon. I can't control that. It's not a personal coupon code. But anyway, folks, I'm glad you uh, hung out with me and uh, checked out the new radio. I will definitely be putting this through its paces around here locally and uh really enjoying it anyway folks thank you for hanging out with me today and watching don't forget to check out our links down below we have our amazon affiliate store down there which this radio will be in and also the link down below too as well um, you can use that link you can shop on amazon helps us out a whole lot bring cool new cool content to the channel uh, and it doesn't cost you anything so if you want to bookmark the link and always shop with it hey that's cool too below that our freeze-dried wholesaler link don't forget that link saves you 15 percent get stocked up on food now before the panic the link down below will save you 15% on anything on the site. Below that is our My Patriot Supply. More savings with me on that one. Prepare with Iridium.com. We have two-week, four-week, th uh, three-month kits down there. The three-month kit this month is $200 off. That's a whole lot of food. Boom, right there delivered to your door. If you have nothing, that's a good starting point. And if you already have some and you want to add some more, definitely helpful too. And that's at preparewithiridium.com, okay? Below that's our Thrive Life Freeze Dried Food Store. Don't forget to check that out as well. I thank you all for hanging out with me today and checking out this radio. Stay safe and stay prepared.